Well, hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master on a daily basis. And for the past two weeks, it has not been a daily basis because I took a little vacation break hiatus. Um, but uh, we've done enough powerful points to ponder that we were able to recycle uh, some devotionals for you to think about. Uh, and that's important because, you know, um, you, you usually lose about 90% of what you hear after four hours. Do you realize that? 90% of what you hear, you probably forget about in four hours. That is why it's critically important to take notes and to chronicle your Bible studies and the things that you learn, have notebooks and reference them, categorize them so that you can refer back to them at a later time. That's why I'm recording things is so important. But uh, I've been away for a couple of weeks, um, but I'm back and I'm excited that you're joining me now uh, as we do a, another week of powerful points to ponder. Uh, and this week, our focus is going to be on a very familiar story in the Bible, and that's the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, and the, in the fiery furnace. And we're entitling the theme for the week that there is no success without a test. There's no success without a test. Uh, the people who you see are successful are people who had to endure some real testing in order to achieve success. And uh, so we're going to look at that this week, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who are going to be successful, but they were tested in, in, in the process. They had to be willing to weather and endure and persevere some severe testing. Now, it's the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is in the book of Daniel, the third chapter. And the last verse is verse 30. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with the last verse. And I'll explain why we're starting with the last verse first. It says in Daniel chapter 3 and verse 30, then the king, his name is Nebuchadnezzar, the king, Nebuchadnezzar, promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Now, the word that we like to hear is the word promote, promoted elevated, advanced, or they were successful. And they were Jews of a despised race or an oppressed group. Uh, they were Jews, but they were still successful in Babylon, uh, which means they were a minority group that still was able to succeed in Babylon. Now, we like the word promote. That's in the 30th verse. But what we must understand is that verses 1 through 20, are, are verses in which they were tested. Now, we like verse 30. We like the promotion part. But what trips us up is getting from verse 1 to verse 29, the testing part. Here's the lesson that I want us to learn today. And that is that you will never go from uh, to verse 30, where you promote it without having to go through verses 1 through 29, the time of testing. There's no promotion without testing time. And perhaps you are experiencing some testing time right now. Well, the testing time may be your pathway to your promotion, but you don't want to give up. Suppose Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Abednego hadn't given up in verse 15 or given up in verse 18. They never would have experienced the promotion, and neither will you. There is always testing time before the promotion. There was a farmer who invited his pastor to his farm to see all of how the crops were growing on the farm. And the, the pastor looked at all the crops and said, oh, my God, look at that barn. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, my God. Look at all those vegetables. Look at the green beans. Look at the cabbage. Look at the corn. Oh, my God, look at the squash. And he kept going on and on about how God, he kept on saying, boy, God has really done a great job. Look at how God has provided all this corn, squash, and all these vegetables. And that's when the farmer looked at the pastor and said, with all due respect, pastor, uh, you should have seen the farm when God had the farm all by himself, which is his way of saying that if 
it had not been for his work in cooperation with God. It was God's soil, God's nutrients in the soil, God's rain that produced the crop, but it was also human muscle that had to produce the crop as well. In other words, he had to be willing to endure something to be tested in order to see the crop grow. And so it is with you and so it is with I. And that's why we should never be envious of somebody who's become promoted or who gets a promotion because we don't know what they had to endure between verses 1 and verse 29 to experience verse 30. Where are you right now in your life? Are you in verse 1 <laughs> with still some time to go? Are you in verse 10 with some time to go? Are you in verse uh, 26 with some time to go? Well, look, it's worth it. The promotion is worth it. So be willing to endure the test in order that you might experience the promotion. And this week, we're going to talk about the test that these three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, had to endure in order to experience the promotion. Ask God to give you the strength to endure. Or don't forget what Paul said, and let us not become weary in well-doing, for we shall reap in due season if we faint not. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word uh, today and help us to realize that with all promotions comes testing. So don't let us give up because we're on our way up. We thank you, Lord, for your word, for what we learn. Don't, help, don't let us just hear it with our ears, but help us to absorb it in our heart and live by it through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank you so very much for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. And look, if you don't have a church home, I'd like to extend the invitation to you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Email us here, newstart at ssclive.org, and we will get back with you. Peace and blessings to you. And uh, we'll pick back up on this theme tomorrow that there is no success without a test. We'll pick up on it tomorrow. I think you're going to be blessed this entire week. But until tomorrow comes, don't forget, during COVID-19, with this new iteration called Delta variant, please stay safe, stay sane, and never forget that God is in control. I'll see you tomorrow.